You're watching Apocalypse and the End Times here on God TV. My name's Paul McGuire, your host, and we're gonna get into an absolutely mind-blowing, fascinating journey uh, that, that may appear to be somewhat like science fiction, but it's science. And my guest has documented proof of his extensive, extensive research. Um, his name is Anthony Patch. He's a researcher, an author, speaker, uh, the author of two novels, Covert Catastrophe, Diamonds in the Rough. And he has been researching in the fields of physics, cosmology, biology and computer science and theology for over 25 years. So Anthony, it, it is really a pleasure and an honor to have you here on the program. Thank you, Paul. I don't know where to begin. Well, I do know where to begin <laughs> because, because you're, you're, his research is fascinating, absolutely fascinating. You're gonna be gripped. Um, let's first talk about CERN and the Large Hadron Collider. People have heard about that or most oh. people have. Uh, They've seen pictures of it and all kinds of speculation and theories. Yeah. Give us a quick definition, first, just from a purely scientific point of view, okay. what the purpose, what, it, what the collider is, what its, what its purpose is. Okay. Well, the scientific purpose is to take particles and accelerate them towards reaching the threshold of the speed of light and to then collide them, fracturing them into smaller particles for the purpose of trying to determine the basis for creation, trying to find the building blocks of the universe and all known life. And that's what science will tell you in the public arena. But where my research has led me is into the hidden agenda at CERN. Hmm. And that's really been my calling from the Lord is to really reveal the truth behind the public agendas at CERN, which is a nuclear research facility utilizing a particle collider. Now, it's, it's, it's in a giant, uh, somewhat circular uh, shape that covers, how many miles is that whole collider? Yeah, as you travel along it, you cover 27 miles. 27 17 miles. 17 kilometers. And tell our uh, viewers where this is located. Well, geographically on the map, it's located on the border between Switzerland and France. Mm -hmm. It's near Geneva. It's a sovereign state unto itself. What, what's a sovereign state unto itself? That would be a self-governing body. So, they are so, much like the Vatican. So the collider, I never heard this before, the collider mm -hmm. is in its own state like the Vatican? And similar to Washington, D.C., the District of wow. Columbia. I, well, I, well, I'm gonna ask you later why that is. Sure. Um, so it's based on, I guess, their theory or research or whatever that if they crack open atomic, subatomic particles, just crack them open. They are saying, at least publicly, uh, that they can find the, the secrets to the origins of the universe, et cetera, et cetera. Right. But you say that this is not like speculation. It's from your research, you're saying that behind the scenes, they have a hidden agenda that they're not admitting to the public. That's correct. Tell us what, what your research leads you to believe their hidden agenda is. Well, it's interesting because today it is no longer hidden. Oh. They are not hiding their goals. In fact, they're pronounced in a pronounced fashion announcing it. Last year, the uh, previous director of the Collider facility announced that their goal openly is to open a dimensional gateway to another dimension. You might call it a portal. Mm -hmm. And when you begin to put that in the context of our everyday reality, that seems absurd. Mm -hmm. And he also made the statement that we don't know what we will find or what may come through from the other side, but we're willing to risk it. This is mind blowing. So we're not talking even really about your research. We're not talking about speculation. Nope. And, and I want to emphasize to our viewers, and you need to, you need, Programs like this, especially here on Apocalypse in the End Times, you need to text, email, Facebook, wh whatever it takes uh, to send the link of programs like on Apocalypse in the End Times like this to your friends because those people that are interested in these kinds of things, and that's a huge percentage of the population, all age groups, 
they want to hear what a man like Anthony Patch has discovered. And they're not going to hear about it in the news media, so you need to contact him via social media. And, you know, God TV supplies a link for you, and, and it's a no-brainer. You need to do that. That's, that's an important part of sharing your faith. And I personally think far more effective than some of the uh, old-fashioned ways. So, so, Anthony, this is, this, again, this is not a conspiracy theory. This is the published statement of the former head of CERN, and he's talking about, did, uh, did, he, did he use the word entity? What w w word did he use? No, he didn't assign a title to what right. might come through. He just right. that he didn't know what would come through. He didn't know what would come through. So right. that's kind of ominous. We're, it is. We're, we're, we're cracking open a hole in this dimension. Yep. Am I correct? Yep. And we don't know what would come through. Well, well, just without imposing something on it, that has a ring of a certain amount of danger. I Absolutely. mean, he's not talking about radiation coming through. So to me, mm -hmm. especially, and I'm going to ask you more in a moment, mm -hmm. especially uh, with the research I've done in, in, into their occult and mystical belief system, it, the, the inference to me, and I, but I want to get it from you, is some kind of entity. Um, so let's, let's, let's ask you that question. Sure. From your research, tell us what you think he was implying and what has your research revealed about what's really going on? Well, they, the research has revealed that they're already in communication with the other side, with entities on the other side. Very stop. This, this is mind-blowing. The research has shown that they're already in communication with what on the other side? Well, in my frame of reference, and I right. think we share this, these right. would be demonic entities. And what, what, have they assigned a word to the communication to these beings or whatever or in another dimension? No, other than to say that these perhaps are our benevolent ancestors from the stars who are coming to solve all of our problems and remove all of our ills from our society. This is so powerful. This is what you're talking about uh, is a paradigm shift that's just about ready to detonate on planet Earth. That's correct. This is going to shake up people's faith who are not prepared. That's, that's another reason why you need to send this program to your friends. This is going to shake up the faith of many Christians and, and people of belief and non-belief. It's going to shake their very view of reality to the core, just like when Darwin's theory of evolution was promoted it, it just tore up people's view of reality. You know, right. oh, God didn't create us. We we're, we're evolved animals. I mean, that, that just ripped up the fabric of the entire sociological, spiritual structure of the planet. The paradigm shift. Right, a paradigm shift. And so we're right. Well, has the paradigm shift begun, or where, where are we in terms of that? In the popular culture, it has begun because we're seeing the predictive programming in the mass media. In the films and... And commercials. Now, share with our viewers what the term, and I agree with you uh, about the term, it's an accurate term, but share with our viewers just briefly what the term predictive programming is and what it's meant to do. Think of it in terms of brainwashing. Right. We are predicting the behavior of humans using human behavior modeling in the computer, using a program that if we put out this stimuli, we will achieve this type of response in human beings, no matter the culture, no matter where they live. And so this is going to what we're going to talk about in a moment, is the adiabatic quantum computer, which is artificially intelligent. Predictive programming, in essence, is saying if we create this program, a television program, a movie, and we put in images that are violent, we put in images about portals, we talk about aliens being benevolent, then it becomes sort of in their mind a self-fulfilling prophecy that people will believe the lie, become victims of that de grand deception of predictive programming, and therefore will follow lockstep whatever it is they're being fed so that you are able to modify their behavior and make them become part of the new world order and follow the beast system. I, I absolutely agree with you. and. Um... I just want to share with our viewers uh, this science of predictive programming that you were talking about, and it is a science, 
I mean, this goes back before H.G. Wells, the great science fiction author, and uh, Aldous Huxley, Brave New World. They were employing predictive programming. And uh, the Star Trek uh, series <laughs> developed by Gene Roddenberry, as you know, was for the purpose of pr predictive programming to promote yep. a, a UN global government. Right. And now, as you just said, all these uh, science fiction, s superhero, technological, singularity uh, movies. Transhumanism, and trans Transformers. Right. Everything from Captain America. It is just embedded with this. In the culture. Exactly. And so young people, are ve they're, they're conversant in what you're saying. Yep. But more importantly, what you're saying, these movies like Divergent and... Mm -hmm. um, I forgot the, the, the other one, The Hunger Games. You know, those movies are embedded with subconscious, subliminal messages. Absolutely. They're not designed to be, in my opinion, just entertainment. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're employing predictive programming. And let's go to the, the recent television show, Lucifer, how they portray Satan as a debonair, ladies' man, British accent. Wow. You know, they're making him making Lucifer right. look good. Right. Making so Lucifer look talk good. Talk about programming people right. into believing a lie. Right. It's right in our face. It's it's right in our face. Yep. So people are being programmed, and we know that the, the result of this uh, is already measurable. I was doing research the other day, and the fastest growing religion in America is Wicca, which, as right. you know, is paganism and witchcraft. And number two is uh, Islam. So now, this this uh, collider mm -hmm. and um, these beings that they're in communication with. So we're talking about the, the premier scientists on planet Earth right now, who are actively engaged, according to to their own words, communicating with something, something with a personality. Uh, in their own words, in a, in a, from another dimension. And that's the purpose of the, uh, uh, the, the, the collider. I mean, people need to understand, this is not science fiction, this that's is correct. fact. That's correct. What I write about in my novels, right. I place a storyline that is embedded with science fact. Everything that I present publicly in the books, public speaking, is all drawn from their own scientific journals and white papers. And then I'm able to see what they're doing. Not just extrapolate, but see in the real time what it is they're doing. Not a future agenda, but what they're doing right now today. The imminency of what they intend to do, which is opening this gateway. And understand that the world of science in terms of particle physics also overlaps into DNA, into biology. Yes. There's a multifaceted, multi-level agenda at play, not just with CERN, but it's proof of concept feeder labs around the world that feed into CERN. So we are talking about changing humans, changing the planet. We're talking about um, not only bringing in information through a portal, but we're also talking about definitively changing our way of life. This is a threat to our existence, to the creation of mankind. A threat to our existence, a threat to the creation of mankind. So they're communicating with some kind of entity, you and I would believe that these entities are fallen angels. Right. And then your research has shown th this is being distributed to feeder labs all over planet Earth and who knows what other kind of research institutes and uh, technology mm -hmm. because they have an end game of radically restructuring man, woman, the entire planet. I I this is an almost impossible question, but in a, in a brief summary, give sure. our viewers an idea of what their radical end game is. Well, my answer is radical. Say Ultimately, it. it is to kill God. In the hubris of Satan, of Lucifer, he believes that he actually has the ability to kill our God's angels and kill God. He believes he can create a new heaven on earth, that he can create a new race of beings. He hates everything that God has created, including us. And he is the mirror image of everything that God has created that is all that is good. And so if you 180 that, if you flip that over, if you make it a mirror, think of everything that is good in the world that God has created, 
go to the opposite side, and that's what Satan's goal is, to present his form of life and his form of heaven here on earth using technology. Now, I need to under, make it clear that I don't hold any ill will against the scientists, the researchers, engineers. They are deceived into believing one of the original lies that ye shall be as gods that ye will have immortality. That's the carrot that so, they've so, been offered. So, so the scientists and, and the technology people, uh, many of them, uh, are under the spiritual delusion or spiritual deception right. that they're evolving man into, I guess, a, a, a superhuman or a god man. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So if they're thinking in terms of what we are doing is for the betterment of mankind, that's the compartmental aspect of their research, the compartmentalization that they work in. Outside, they are cut off from the outside of who's promoting the machine, who's funding it, to what end. So if you were to ask one of those researchers and say, are you guys trying to open a portal and let in demons? Are you trying to terraform right, right. the planet? for a new race of beings, they, what, what have you been smoking kind right. of response? Right, right. Because they are cut off. We have the opportunity being you know, removed from that compartment to see it from a different perspective, from a bigger perspective, and that's given to us through the Holy Spirit, through that discernment. We are able to see what is hidden. We do our research, we do our due diligence, but then we clearly see what is really going on. One of the examples, going back to your initial question, the statue of Shiva, the, the god of destruction, yeah. is right there outside the headquarters at CERN. They produced a video last year from CERN called Symmetry, Complete Satanic Rituals. Recently, just a few days ago, there was the opening of the Goddard Tunnel in Switzerland near CERN, purely demonic rituals. Oh, yes, showed... I saw that. I did... oh, Go ahead, sir. It was terrifying. Yeah, absolutely. That video of, of the demonic rituals yes. of opening the tunnel, and I only had a brief opportunity to look at it. I saw what was going on. Mm -hmm. It was an openly demonic. It was devoted to the worship of Satan. It's in our I, face. But I didn't, I, I knew that it was the Goddard Tunnel, but I didn't realize it was connected to the whole CERN thing. Well, physically, it's not connected. Right. I want to make that clear. But in the sense of the spiritual world and right. the communication I through see. ritual, okay. they are connected. Right. And in fact, in that ceremony, that demonstration, they showed the opening of the portal that CERN will achieve. And the tunnel itself represents, in physics, quantum tunneling, which is a communication utilizing an artificially intelligent computer, an adiabatic quantum computer, which runs its computations through another dimension, retrieves that information from another dimension, achieving a solution that we can use in our world. Now that is real, that's not fantasy, that comes right. right from the manufacturer. This is the machine that is employed now, just recently, now at CERN, and will be responsible for the initiation of the opening of the portal and the stability, the holding open of the portal for the receiving of, and I'll give this definitively, it's digitized DNA, demonic DNA, in a digitized form, ones and zeros, coming through this portal, received here, reassembled, if you will, and then presented to a hybrid body. Because as you said, Lucifer desires to be God, as the Bible says, and Lucifer desires to create his own race in his own image. Exactly. And um, I think you would agree. At the, uh, this is very hard for many Christians to, uh, to, to grasp. It's a, it's a truth that it's hard for Christians to really own. And that is, the world is exactly as the Bible says that it is. Yes, it is. And uh, there's an invisible world, Lucifer at the top, his hierarchy of demons. He compartmentalizes information on a need-to-know basis. Yep. And at the very top... Um, there are men and women who are open Luciferians. Yes, indeed. They have committed themselves. They participate in rituals to the worship of Satan because, as you said, they believe that they're going to conquer Christ. Yep. And Satan is the true, or Lucifer is the, tr is, is the true God. That's right. Now, you said that, and I said that, and the Bible says that, but for some reason, that's, there's almost a veil in the minds of many Christians. And I, and I pray as we interview you that the Holy Spirit would just break that veil of deception 
and, and that God's people could really see reality as it really is, instead of living in this kind of fog state, which is based on their uh, unbelief of, of God's Word. Well, let's use the collider for our purposes. Okay. Let's call that evidence. Yeah. It's physical, it's yeah. tangible, it's right there in our face. Right. If we accept the symbology they have presented, which is demonic in origin, yes. their statues, their videos, yeah. and we take that at face value as definitive evidence to yeah. the hidden agenda, right. we can say there's the machine, the most powerful machine, the largest machine ever created in recorded history of mankind. And that is definitive proof that we have a problem. This is a extension, a extinction level event, this opening of the portal. If we look at the wars- Did you say extension or extinction? E extinction, I'm okay, sorry. Okay, extinction level, okay. If we look at the wars that are going on right now, mm -hmm. imagine if that portal was opened. The key to the bottomless pit is the Large Hadron Collider. If they were to turn that key and open that doorway and we were flooded, the wars would seem insignificant and all the other ills of the planet compared to the opening of this portal. This is why it is imperative because it's right now today and it's in our face and it's tangible proof. That breaks down our own veil. Okay, so, so Anthony is, is, is telling you uh, in a methodical, rational, logical way that we have evidence, the visual pictures, the videotapes, the published statements of the heads, some of the heads of, of CERN, and they are saying in their videos and the visuals and the evidence that you're talking about, if you showed it right. in a courtroom, it would be acceptable evidence right. of openly demonic worship of Satan and uh, open admission of, of many of the agendas that you talked about. Now, since this is true, and it is true because you have evidence to back up Absolutely. what you're saying, uh, and it also, there's no conflict between what you're saying and the Bible. In fact, the Bible would, would support what you're saying. Revelation 9. Revelation 9. Um, it's time that, that, and this is why um, it's so important, you that watch Apocalypse and the End Times on God TV, that you send this to your friends, the link, that you educate them. Because when this paradigm shift occurs, what you're talking about, and when their hidden agendas, be, when, the, when the fruit of their hidden agendas, when, they st when, when these beings start moving through the portal and entering into the earth, mm -hmm. I don't think most Christians are, are ready for um, the physical manifestation and the supernatural changes that are going to occur in, in what we call our, our present reality. Our present right. reality is about ready to be violently shaken and reshaped. And if you're not prepared for that, uh, uh, biblically and in the power of the Holy Spirit, you're not going to be able to be victorious. That's correct. You're, you're going to be, you were talking about this, just, you know, over, oh, you overcome with this mass delusion and stuff. But, but God knew this before the beginning of the world, and He has equipped us supernaturally uh, to deal with it, Mm -hmm. um, knowledge is power, and the truth is the most powerful thing in the world. And God wants you to know the truth, not be in some, some kind of bubble. We're going to talk more with Anthony Patch. You need to um, watch the rest of these interviews. Um, we're going to ask him more about the portals, the beings, um, the golden age of uh, Kronos, uh, this computer he made reference to, which is equivalent to seven billion human brains. Uh, I'm, I'm fascinated uh, about that. And you need to know about it because it's true. It's being assembled now. So you're watching Apocalypse and the End Times. I'm Paul McGuire, and you need to stay tuned as we delve into the truth uh, deeper with Anthony Patch. And remember, Jesus Christ said you should know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. God bless you. I'm Paul McGuire.